Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we can have a look at the latest from the live radar run for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as it is going to be quite a bit cooler than it has been the past couple of days uh, inevitably that heat we have seen wasn't going to last all too long and now the temperatures are going to be going back down towards average for the time of year so back towards more comfortable temperatures of the low 20s it is also going to become a bit more unsettled with the wind direction coming in more from the west and that unfortunately means there will be showers around there will be longer spells of rain it's not going to be completely dominant uh, those unsettled conditions but they will be here fairly frequently it's unlikely you get more than a couple of days stretch without seeing some sort of rain now as we head into the longer range into the final 10 days or so of july into early august these sort of changeable conditions are looking still pretty likely now of course we saw heat over the past few days really appear within the models at very short notice so the possibility of that is fairly moderate to likely over the next couple of weeks because we are in the midsummer period there are some runs showing signs of that heat returning especially from the ecmwf ensembles but i must stress that there's no real big uh, sort of idea from the models at this stage for a big heat wave or anything major to arrive but the likes of what we've seen this week with a brief spike of heat for, for, for a few days couldn't be ruled out again even in that medium term range we we'll have to keep a very close eye on it and we'll look at it in detail in the second half of the video so do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link is in the description now if you start on the live radar you can see we have got a weather front pushing in from the west at the moment and this is the cold front that is sweeping away that heat and humidity we have seen over the past few days it's got up to 32 degrees yesterday or rounded 32 incredibly hot but it's not un expected it is midsummer we did see a brief burst of southerly winds and that is what happens this time of year unfortunately for those who love hot summery conditions those hot conditions for england and wales were only really around for a couple of days and areas further north and westwards didn't really arrive at all as i said this was a very small burst of heat and is now getting swept away today you still got those warm air masses around but because of the cloud and increasing amounts of light rain coming in from the west it is cooling those temperatures down and we're not really breaching much above the mid 20s today but still feeling pretty hot and humid out this afternoon you can see the weather front is fairly narrow so shouldn't see too more uh, too much more than a couple of hours of rain but it could be pretty heavy in places you can see some oranges developing and there's a risk of a little bit of a thundery uh, spell of rain across these southern areas of the weather front uh, again new kv showing that a little bit but we'll have to keep an eye on that over the coming hours now do you put on the temperatures you can still see it is warm in the east temperatures here still into the mid 20s maybe even there norwich towards the east angle is still getting into the high 20s but for most it is much much cooler today but it is still feeling pretty sticky out there but they'll all be gone through this evening into tomorrow now if you have a look at the latest ukv you can see the rain slowly pushing in through the rest of today it will slowly peter out and it should actually move through pretty quickly overnight tonight so for sunday it does look like a pretty dry day with a bit more rain pushing in from the west for northern ireland and for the republic of ireland but elsewhere it is dry sunshine should come through and then eventually into sunday evening we see some more rain arriving more widely for scotland northern england and wales but again it doesn't look too widespread these are sort of changeable conditions I'm talking about. Monday, a few showers around, but generally quite a bit drier. And then to Tuesday, similar conditions, a few showers, but nothing too crazy. And then as we head into Wednesday, more heavy rain pushing in. So a couple of days of decent conditions, and then we see a low pressure system arrive. So again, not going to be terrible, but it isn't going to be wall to wall sunshine for multiple days on the trot. We are going to see plenty of showers, maybe even some thunderstorms like we're seeing here through Wednesday into Thursday. And it's going to keep it uh, very much up and down. Now, do look at the upper air temperature. You can see it's still got very hot air mass in, just clipping the far east at the moment. But you can see the cold front is sweeping that away. And you can see by Sunday afternoon, we're all in an air mass, almost 10 degrees cooler. We could still see some warmer air masses pushing in times into Monday and Tuesday, but again, it's mainly two hours south. And then you see another very warm wedge of air moving for Wednesday to Thursday. But as we saw, that is associated with lower pressure and with rain so it could turn muggy could turn hot 
for an afternoon or so but with a lot of rain around and then a cold front quickly sweeping through after it it's not not much more than a warm sector within a traditional uh, low pressure system setup now do look at the max temperatures you can see through this afternoon temperatures widely i said low to mid 20s maybe high 20s towards east anger towards norwich but most are much cooler today as we head into tomorrow it's much cooler for all maybe 24 25 at best in the far southeast but most in the high teens or just about into the low 20s into monday could still get 23 to 26 again we still got some muggy air hanging around in the southeast so it won't be too bad there but most areas are relatively cool and the same can be said for tuesday again average too slightly above average by degree or two 24 25 and you can see into Wednesday, it could turn very warm again, 26, 27, but it's all going to be dependent on uh, the rain. If we see high levels of rain, high levels of cloud earlier in the day, then the temperatures probably won't get above the low 20s. But if we see it delayed further into the evening and the rain not heavy, less cloud, wouldn't it be surprised to see a localised 29, 30 degrees given the 850 HPA temperatures. But we'll have to wait and see for that. But you can see over the next five days it is still going to stay warm and muggy in the far southeast but for most it's back towards average and very much up and down in terms of precipitation now if you have a look at the longer range to see if there are any signs of persistent heat arriving you can see that we got that low pressure to our west at the moment drawing up that southerly wind that turned it very warm the last few days but it's getting swept away we see more of a westerly phase over the next few days but still high pressure uh, hot high pressure to our south and that is still going to try and waft up warmer masses at times through this week gfs not as amplified as the ukv which means those warmer sectors aren't as warm as the ukv was showing so this would just probably weaken the rain and the weather fronts but also it would reduce the temperatures so seeing those 27 28 there from the ukv would more be like 23 or 24 on the equivalent gfs here so very subtle differences could change those absolute temperatures if you can see no signs of any massive high pressure building up to our south the heat does stay across much of europe and you can see into the extended range we do see warmer hotter sectors coming in at times maybe brief bursts of southerly winds but really not lasting all too long you see by the end of the run low pressure back in control so again goes along the ideas of changeable conditions could see some more bursts of heat but at this stage no guarantees with still lots of up and downs in those air masses and in how dry it is now do look at the latest gm see how that does compare again the southerly wind getting pushed away at the moment low pressure coming in over the next couple of days Brief ridge of high pressure, maybe Monday to Tuesday, could turn it warmer for a time. That warm sector moves through Wednesday into Thursday, and then we're back into fresh air. And towards day 10, again, another big warm sector pushing in. I can't emphasize that these warm sectors are very warm because of the heat to our south. They're a good sort of six to eight degrees above average. So again, couldn't rule out seeing temperatures into the high 20s. Again, within those warmer sectors, but those warm sectors will move through in a day, maybe two days max. So not seeing anything persistent but could see some brief spikes of heat especially here from this latest gm and i think to be honest the same could be said for the east and UF. all three models are fairly consistent with the ideas of a westerly flow but a bit more amplification allowing hotter air masses to move in at times and again you can see here a brief southwesterly tilt to those isobars could turn slightly hotter for a time and then towards day 10 again high pressure trying to build back in having a bit of success extending northwards but because it is extending northwards we're not quite seeing some heat building up from the south but regardless slightly better at take 10 in terms of high pressure building in but again i must emphasize it's nothing amazing at this stage no heat wave nothing like that but i have to keep a close eye on it could see more little bursts of heat and you never know things can change very quickly like they changed very quickly in the last week to give the hot weather over the last couple of days the same can be said uh, it is unlikely that we see a massive shift towards high pressure heat but it is possible it is plausible uh, this time of year now to finish by looking at the latest ensembles if we start on the latest gfs again up and down over the next couple of weeks generally hovering around average and as i said those warmer and cooler uh, sectors will become more defined as we get closer to the time because at the moment there is a lot more sort of haziness in that medium range because of timings and because of intensities all the differences in amplification uh, could make a good five degree difference in that upper air temperatures you can see precipitation isn't high but it isn't bone dry again 
emphasizing that changeable showery conditions with some persistent rain at times but you can see for the end of july to early august there are some very warm or hot runs appearing as i'm talking kind of 15 degrees at 850 hp and above those are 30 plus degree temperatures or almost guaranteed 30 plus degrees so a lot more of those which again could be signs that something a bit more amplified something a bit hotter could be on the cards for early august and the same can be said for the latest uh, east of Louis midnight run where there are even more hotter runs appearing there towards the end of july and early august lots more application in the short term so a little bit more uh, agreement from the ensembles and timings and intensities of those warmer cooler sectors over the next week and you can see it's going to be above average then below average above average below average it's going to be oscillating and because of the time of year those above average periods are going to be very warm could be as said mid to high 20s but as said watch those very warm runs in that end of july early august period those are the ones we need to keep an eye on those are the ones that could live deliver widely 30 plus degrees mid 30s possibly and i think the biggest thing is some consistency some persistency within the weather instead of seeing it very up and down like we're seeing at the moment one day is 32 degrees the next day we're seeing rain moving in from the west so hopefully we do see a bit of a change because although i don't mind it being up and down i don't terribly enjoy it being 30 plus degrees it would be nice to see a bit of consistency as it has been a little bit all over the place so far this summer We'll have to keep a very close eye on it, uh, but for the time being, very changeable. Could see more, more warmer weather at times, could see some more cooler weather. Just have to keep a very close eye on those conditions. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed subscribing new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.